Hey, honey, yeah. check this out. Two quarter ounce gold American Eagles. I just picked those up like, I don't know, two, two weeks ago. Nice. Huh? Nice. What do you think? So Aren't they beautiful? When are you going to stop stacking? Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. Before we go any further, let me earnestly ask you to hit the thumbs up button right now before you forget. The YouTube algorithm just feeds on those video likes and we have to get the word out about stacking silver and gold, right? If you don't have a silver and gold stacking YouTube channel yourself, a thumbs up is a great way to do your part. So thank you. How am I going to answer Mrs. Yankee's question? <laughs> when am I going to stop stacking silver and gold? Boy, that's a it's a tough question to answer. I mean, when I started stacking silver in earnest back in uh, 2018, uh, you know, I, I didn't really have a strong, you know, target. Oh, I know some people have like a, a 100 ounce target, 500 ounces, maybe maybe 1,000 ounces is what you're after. <laughs> I know some people that like say, no, Yankee, 10,000 ounces is more like it. And I've heard people say, maybe you should stack your weight in silver. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I, uh, I weigh around 2,700 troy ounces. Um, but I really don't want to have to haul around a Yankee's worth of silver, okay? That just seems excessive. Gold offers that density that I'm after. It's just, it's so more efficient. And that's why gold is the base of my stack. Central banks around the world, they stack gold. That's why I bought the Yankee Cannon back in 2009 a tube of one ounce American gold eagles. That was my base. And 2009 is when we went all in on currency printing. We went past the point of no return. And from a macroeconomic standpoint, I'd stop my gold and silver stacking if among other things, uh, the government stopped its profligate spending and consistently balanced its budget to live within our country's means. And maybe the Federal Reserve stops gorging itself on currency printing or just disbands completely. How about that? And our monetary system returns to a gold standard where our currency is backed by real money and how about if we stop relying on a, a debt-driven fake economy and allow interest rates to return to normal? I'd stop stacking and I'd switch to, I don't know, collecting a few cool items just for fun. <laughs> okay, back to reality. We're not stopping. And I ain't selling my gold and silver either. Mm, silver. Silver was more of a prepper play for me, especially the uh, fractional nature of constitutional silver. Oh, I love me some constitutional silver. Alongside my government minted silver bullion, you know, silver is more versatile. My LCS dealer, Tim, likes to say that gold is a barter between nations. Silver is barter between people. I love that. However, I still think gold is a viable trade item between people. After a, 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 an economic collapse, gold could still be used as a larger denomination for more expensive goods and services. I could potentially see using, a, you know, uh, one of the gold pieces I just picked up to barter for maybe a, a self-defense weapon. I also contend that gold could be used to exchange for more silver. Gold still fits my prepper stacker philosophy. But besides stacking for an economic apocalypse, silver has something that gold doesn't have. A greater and more dramatic upside potential. That's right. Profit potential is huge, people. That's the gig with AG. 
its price is more volatile. So when gold goes up, you know, 50%, silver could likely go up 200%. Silver and gold for wealth protection, but silver for profit potential. All right, so how much? <laughs> how much silver and gold should I stack? When is it enough? Mrs. Yankee wants to know. <laughs> And I bet more than a few of you out there have a spouse or a significant other wondering the same thing. Actually, Mrs. Yankee is fine with my stacking. She sees the wisdom in it, and she sees it as a hedge to what's coming. She likes that I stack. Let me ask you a similar question. How much life insurance is too much? Those in the insurance sales business might be tempted to tell you an astronomical amount. I've read that a good recommendation for life insurance is 10 to 12 times your yearly income. Of course, that depends on various factors, right? Like, you know, your job situation, how much debt you have, number of children, etc. But since I view my precious metals primarily like inflation insurance, and we are doing a masterful job of inflating our currency, I want to determine the appropriate amount of inflation insurance to stack. Well, my target amount of silver and gold is a percentage of my overall wealth. And let me just say, overall wealth prior to when everything goes sideways, okay? Before the dollar collapses, before we have an economic reset, the stuff hits the fan. When that happens, we are going to be glad we prepped a lot of other things before silver and gold. You see, my portfolio is going to take a hit. Yours too. Many, if not most, will be completely wiped out. Now, I think I can weather it somewhat decently due to my more conservative you know, physical asset and commodity focus portfolio, but... Make no mistake, people, when we lose the U.S. dollar as the reserve currency of the world, we all lose. Okay, gone will be the veneer of affluence, a more subsistence-based life will begin in this country. It's going to be devastating. I pray I'm wrong, but I'm prepping like I'm right. Now, I've calculated a percentage amount that I think is prudent. My goal is to reach at least 10 to 15%, so somewhere in there, 10 to 15% of my overall wealth, minus my primary residence, by age 62. Now, I'm turning 55 tomorrow, um, so I only had seven years to, to get there, um, and I'm currently only at 7.67% of my portfolio in precious metals, you know, gold and silver. I've got a ways to go, but I hopefully will get there in this decade. And folks, this is the decade that we all should be stacking hard in. Well, I hope that uh, helps <laughs> answer your, the question, when am I going to stop stacking silver and gold? If you liked this video, please, again, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. When are you going to stop stacking silver and gold? Are you ever going to stop? Do you have goals in mind? Let me know. Thanks for watching. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.